Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. To not nah. ah. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint ocean waves. So let's do it. No, no eating it. Okay, so to start, I'm going to go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper. I have my Windsor Newton Common watercolors. I have my water and my paper towel and I have my paintbrush. I have a size 10. I also have a size 16 here and a size six. We are gonna see which ones I'm gonna use. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are all your materials you will need. So we are gonna be doing a wave like ocean painting. Um, I've seen a lot of them done in those circle there's been like tons of people doing them where they're in like a, a circle, right? And you see the waves. So I'm going to try that. I've never actually done this. So we're going to see how it goes. So first, you're going to need something that is circular. I have this pot with some dirt in it. So I'm going to use that. That's all I could find at the moment. And I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to trace around. Like so. Okay. I have my circle. All right. You can use a roll of tape, whatever you have. All right. So now what we are going to do, I'm actually going to erase just a bit the top of this circle, just so it's really, really light because the top part of the circle is going to be where the sky is. And I don't want that harsh pencil line. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to wet up the whole circle with a very light wash of like a bluish gray. So I already have some here. And I'm just going to take my really big brush because I'm covering quite a bit of area. Now, this is not a Princeton snap brush. This is a Princeton, Princeton heritage brush. And actually using it, I think I prefer the snap brush, to be honest, because I don't know if you can tell, it just, it doesn't snap back as fast, it's not as stiff. And I really like it when it's a stiff brush, that's just my preference. And there we go. And the first step is just to cover this whole area with a really, really light wash of, you could do it like an indigo or a gray, light blue, whatever you want, okay? And that is step one, okay? So you're just gonna let that dry now. Okay, so the next step is the waves. Now I've taken a few reference photos of people who have done the watercolor waves. Um, I'm not copying anyone in particular. I'm just kind of looking and taking elements of things that I've seen. I haven't watched any tutorials on this, so we're gonna see if this works out. But what I'm noticing with all the waves is what makes it looks like, what makes it look like waves are the definition between the dark so you see the darkness there and then there's a lightness on top so i'm going to start by just creating this wave line um, filling it in and then i'm going to wait for it to dry so i have that light value of the light parts and then once it dries i'm going to start creating those dark waves so i have the light value behind it and the darkness on top because it looks like those peaks of those waves are the dark parts I don't know if this makes sense and I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, so this is not me copying what anyone else is doing. I'm just looking at the, the elements of each paintings and they all, if you look at them all, they all have the same thing going on. The peaks are the dark parts and it looks like it's kind of blended out until the next peak. So it gets lighter as you get to the next peak, okay? They all have that technique to them. So I'm going to give it a try. So this is how I would approach it. I don't know if I'm right. don't know if it's going to work out. But we're going to give it a try. So I'm going to create my ocean color. Which colors do I have? I just have a bunch of blues in my palette here. You know what? I'm just going to mix this whole thing up. Just see what color it gives me. There's some green in there. Whoops. Okay. And I'm getting kind of a gray color. So I'm going to add some of my turquoise. 
I'm gonna add, that's a little bit bright for me. I'm gonna add some indigo. Okay, that's a little bit better. And I'm just gonna start with that as a base color. And I'm just gonna do some waves. <laughs> like that. And I'm gonna fill in the rest of this area with that light color. And I guess because this, I'm starting with my lightest color, this is gonna be the lightest value on the waves. So everything else I'm gonna be doing on top is gonna to be darker. And I may add some white paint in later, I'm not sure. But we're gonna start with this. Um. Okay, so now I'm gonna let this dry before, drive, dry before I do the next layer. Okay, so now that I have my lightest value down, I'm gonna start adding in the dark peaks and blending it out, hopefully. Also, because we're using so much water for this, like this whole thing has been saturated in water, it's dry now, um, you might wanna tape down your paper too so it doesn't do this. Just a side note, which I should have thought of earlier, but I didn't, so I want a dark blue for this. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create, you know what, I'm gonna start with this wave. I'm gonna go dark. I'm just gonna follow that line I did, bring it down. And then I'm gonna wash off my brush a bit, dry it off, not too much water, and I'm just gonna drag that down to blend it out, okay? Again, wash it off until there's like nothing so it blends into that lightest color. Okay? All right. And then I'm just gonna darken up that wave again. I'm just gonna drop some more of that indigo color in there, like that. Wash off my brush completely. Just kind of drag it down. Okay, so now I'm gonna do another wave, but because it's wet right here, I don't want the next peak to blend in to that wet area. Just wanna make that a bit sharper. Okay, so I'm gonna do one down here where it's not wet. So I'm gonna take my dark color again. I'm gonna do a wave like that. Get my really dark indigo color. I may wanna add, or use a smaller brush for this. Like that. I'm gonna wash off my brush a bit, dry it, start to bring it down. Wash it off completely, dry it, bring it down. Wash it off again, Oops. bring it down, okay? I'm gonna go back in there with that dark color again at the top just to sharpen it up a bit. Like that. Okay. All right. So now, because this area is still wet and this area is still wet, I don't want to do another one just yet. I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'll do some more layers of waves. Okay. Now that those two waves are done, I'm going to move on to some other ones. Um, I'm going to use a smaller brush now because this painting's not that big. And anyway. Okay. So, and I'm just going to do the same kind of thing. Okay. Get in that dark color, wash off my brush, dry it, and move it down. Okay. Like that. I'm gonna do another one. off my brush start to move that color down wash it off even more like 
and darken up the top of that wave. Like that. It's kind of looking like waves. <laughs> um, this is dry here, so I'm going to do another one. And just wherever I put a new wave, I'm making sure it's dry around that area. Um, I'll do one back here. So keep in mind, if you have a bit cheaper paper, you might not get the same quality of blending, okay? And it doesn't mean it's you or you're doing anything wrong. Unfortunately, when you have cheaper paper, sometimes it doesn't blend as well, okay? So just keep that in mind if it's not working out the way you hoped it would. I'll do another one over here. Wash it off. go okay so I'm gonna wait for those ones to dry because it doesn't really look like there's a dry area that I can add another one in so I'm just gonna dry that I'm just gonna continue to keep doing the same thing until I feel it is done <laughs>
and there you go. I think that's pretty decent um, <laughs> for a first try. Um, if you want to add some maybe like white flecks um, and highlights, you could do that too. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the technique I was going for. I hope you guys like it and that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day guys, bye.